So there are things that you need to deal with. Evil patterns. Evil patterns. If anger is in your lineage, it's an evil pattern you must deal with. If anyone be in Christ Jesus, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. New things have begun. You now use your new foundation in Christ to deal with your evil patterns. If you are coming from a family that used to have divorce, now you are in Christ. You need to use your new foundation to deal with the old foundation. If not, no matter the beauty of that person, divorce will come. Am I teaching good here? That is the issue. That's one thing some believers don't know. You need to deal with your foundation. Psalm 11 verse 3. If the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Your foundation can deal with you if you don't deal with it. You may even be a pastor. If you don't deal with your foundation, your foundation will rubbish your ministry. There are many pastors, what is dealing with them is foundation. Because they have not strategically positioned themselves in the place of prayer to deal with what dealt with their father. Do you know that the devil of your father and your forefathers are still alive? They are fighting you. Shout hallelujah. Am I talking to somebody? Wave your hands, I receive lights. So we need to deal with our attitude. Somebody does something for you, they did not say thank you. You frown your face. The person is not going to do anything. Else. The person will not give you anything again. Over a demon, a bad attitude. It's annoying. That, am I saying something? How can you go to borrow 10,000? The person gave you 2,000 your side. Oh, thank you. That sighing is a bad, annoying attitude. Did you give me money to keep for you? Why are you sighing? I gave you 2,000 out of 10,000. You should be happy. Oh, everywhere is quiet. <laughs> On Abba. You should be happy. You did not keep money for him to keep for you. Didn't give him money to keep for you. Come on, be grateful. Gratitude activates attitude. When you have this gratitude as a habit, it takes you to a higher height. Be grateful. Every good thing somebody rendered to you, be grateful. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma. I'm very, I'm very, very grateful for what you have done. Then the person will think another thing he will do for you. Am I teaching now? And then the under transformation, tell your tongue. Many people have used their tongue to tie themselves. You talk too much. Tell your tongue. Great people don't talk too much. That's why if you go to important offices, they will say, be brief. You don't talk too much. Poor people talk too much. They talk about their grandfather, their grandmother. They talk about how their grandfather ended up as a hunter. People who are succeeded they don't have time for all those gist and all those con campus stories. They want you to talk about important things. Things that will bring money into their account. Not how your grandfather became a hunter. <laughs> Am I teaching you? Please listen to me. Before you make somebody your friend, take time and watch the, the, the content of that person's words. The content, the content of somebody's words shows the value of that person. Stop mingling and associating with those who have anything in their brain. They are talking doubt. They are talking how their father failed. They are talking how everybody is failing in any good state. And when they put all these things into your subconsciousness, you carry the thing and be running and it will be affecting your life. Mix with people that will tell you it is possible. Oh, yeah, come on, come on, come on. Is it not Paul who said, I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me? Come on, come on. Now, let me say this. Let me say this. Anywhere you see somebody doing something in an extraordinary manner. Please give me your attention. Anybody, whether a pastor, a businessman, anybody, or maybe a wife who is handling her home, her marriage, her family well, anybody you see that is doing anything in a very, very extraordinary manner, it is not because of favor. The person is working hard. Please 
Please don't run your life on favor line. Everything will not come by favor. But the Bible said, Do you see a man diligent in his work? He shall stand before kings and have nothing to do with obscure men. If you want to change your level, come on, go and walk out.